Hello Bloopers, so today I'm going to be showing you how to install two operating systems on one system or on one machine or laptop. So the first thing that you need to do is to go on an official website and download Oracle VirtualBox. This will allow you to run a virtual machine inside your machine. Yay! So the first thing is when you have downloaded and installed it, there's not much to show when you're installing it. You need to go here and I'll just make it full so that you can see. You just press new and then you type the name of the computer, the virtual computer that you want. So I'll type in that my name. That's the one I use for my channel. And then you indicate which one you want to use. I want to install Windows and then version 10, <coughs> Windows 10, 64 bit. You have to select one that's portable with your host machine, which is the actual computer that you're using. And then you press next. This is the amount of RAM uh, that you can put. If you want, you can increase it up to the, but um, I'm okay with just two gigs of RAM. So I just press next. And then here you want to select create a virtual hard disk now. Then yes, you press create. And there you just need to leave it there, right there. Press next. And then here you just need to leave it there as well so that it only uses the amount of space that is actually used mm, not not just waste space so use dynamically allocated space and then just press next and then yeah you select where you want to place your virtual machine so i want to place mine in drive d and my virtual machine folder here and then save and then here you can adjust how much you want to give it if you want to give it two terabytes, but I just want to give it about 17. I just want about 17, right? Right, 17 gigs there. Then I'll, I'll press create. So now when you press create, if you Press detail you see the specs of your virtual computer there so what you need now is to install is now you're at a stage where you have a computer instead of a computer but now that you have a computer instead of a computer you don't have an operating system to to actually show you the windows panel so what you need to do is to go to settings go to your computer right there and then go to settings and then what you need to do is to go here and Go down to systems if you need to adjust the memories they can go there if you need to adjust the video memory go there if you need to adjust the storage go there so now we want to put the operating system you go here where it says empty and then you need to press this icon here this little icon here and then you need to go choose host so let's see uh let's say you choose right there so you then navigate to where you stored your iso file which you need to also download before all this so you select it and open i got mine at gettingtopc.com and then let's see is there anything else that we need to adjust mm, nothing really nothing nothing let's see mm. That's about all you need to adjust and then just go <coughs> next. Voila. Now what you need to do is to press start. So when you press start, you can minimize this box here. Yeah? So yeah, now you are installing your Windows there. Don't mind this message. Now you can maximize this and then you can choose which language you want and then install Windows normally as you would on any other machine. I like the UK kind of keyboard. 
and press next then install and then just wait for it to start up Yeah, it takes a long time, but it, then you choose the kind of Hello? the Windows version that you want. So I want Hello? Windows 10 Enterprise. I'll just select Windows 10 Enterprise and then press Next. Uh, now you need to accept the terms and conditions, just like you would in any other, and then install it in this drive that we have given 17 gig right there if you want to partition it you can go on and partition but for me that's enough so i'm just going to say next and then we will be back when it's done so i'm going to cut it just a little bit and then we'll continue from there then you just have to let it roll until it's done so you just select your region i'm in zimbabwe so i'll just select zimbabwe and we'll just have to wait for it <laughs> of course i like the uk keyboard style and we're not going to add a shortcut keyboard i mean a second keyboard left so just skip it for now for the sake of time Then we can continue with our Is we now have a, a computer inside a computer so just to prove that we will do this let's scale it so that you can see the CV and then scaled mode and switch see now I've got my desktop here and I've got another desktop here two computers in one so this one is running Windows 10 uh, home edition if I'm not mistaken this one is enterprise edition and we have done it so we can go on and see a lot of stuff so i will just be using my hotkeys that's control f for the full screen and let's try use this thing um, ok 
okay, okay, okay. Take it easy, the man. So that is what my virtual machine looks like right now, and we have successfully installed Windows Enterprise on top of another Windows 10 edition. So yeah, that's good for us. You can eject this if you want and do a whole bunch of stuff there. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and let's skip it. Said so this is going to be the machine that I'll be using to do most of my tutorials on. I won't be doing it on my actual machine just for safety reasons and stuff like that. So thank you guys for hanging around. It's been quite interesting. Please subscribe, like, and comment. At least say something or do something. Just use one of the buttons that you're seeing there. Makes the whole thing interesting for me. Thank you guys. Huh? See you next time.